It's John Murray live in New Orleans for Essence All Access, and I'm hanging out with the duo Lewis York, the weirdo duo. Tell me about this weirdo movement. We'll start with you, Claude. It is a movement. It's a movement. Basically, we broke away from the pack. We were tired of being behind the boards and kind of being misunderstood. And we saw a lot of problems in music first, but also with culture. And we were, we're like, before we quit this, let's be a part of the solution. So this whole weirdo movement is like encouraging ourselves and black young musicians and edu educated kids to be unafraid to be themselves, take care of themselves, break out the box, be creative, challenge yourself. And cause that's what was actually helping us right now. So. Chuck, how hard was it for you to be like, you know, I'm different and different is cool and I'm embracing that. Like, how was it making that connection? It was the hardest challenge of my life, man. It took years and years for me to get to the point where I was comfortable in my own skin enough to be myself and put that out in the marketplace. Now let's talk about the fact that, you know, both of you guys like derive from church. You're church boys who became the sought after mainstream music producers and now you're stepping out in the forefront and artists in your own right. Talk about that journey. All right, so it's, for me it's always a challenge because people try to put you in boxes. So it's almost like if you come from the church or you're, you're rooted in hymns or in, 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 in gospel music, then you can't do anything other than that. So I think we built a whole career as songwriter and producer first of showing that you should use your gift in any way possible. So that, so that part of our, of our career I think is successful. But then we felt like we weren't using all of our gift. So singing for me, writing my own music, playing with this guy and performing and having a blast is part of us really using the gift that God gave us and expressing ourselves. I think there's a lot that two black men need to offer to the world as artists that's not being shown right now. And so why not us? That's, I kept saying, why not me? Not in an egotistical way, but like if I'm thinking it, then why shouldn't I say it? It's a good, it's a good way to be. Yeah, it's definitely a good way to be. Yeah, and, and, and being from the church, like I say, every good thing starts with a, a strong foundation. And so my musical ability starting in that kind of being able to be breeded from that that kind of uh, uh, soil is, is how how can how can you how can you express that in enough that the gratitude for, for the church for doing it's that for me it's the best beginning ever I'm in love with music because I learned it in church I'm in love with hard work because I learned it in church I'm in love with black women and and and, and, and excellence because I learned it in church so everything I do bec from then on is about matching that standard. Now, uh, I love Nashville, but why did you guys decide to move to Nashville? Well, I'm from New York, and he's from St. Louis, so we're already from pretty cool places, and we've been between New York, Atlanta, L.A., worked in London, and kind of felt like we wanted, to be, we wanted to start this company in a place where we could say, it's a music town, but you haven't quite seen this before. That's not really, that's not really sexy in New York right now, or L.A., everyone's doing some kind of label, so Nashville is music city, but they don't have a lot of us in Music City. And we're not trying to change what they're doing, we're just trying to add a little bit more flavor to the pot, add a little Laurie season salt to the pot, a little seasoning. And so we just bring, we're bringing ourselves. Now Chuck, I have to ask you before I let you go, you guys have worked with lots of artists. Mm. Who's your favorite artist that you ever produced? <laughs> That's an evil question. Ooh, I would have to say my favorite artist that I've ever produced is Neo, and because not only was he a great artist, but he was also a great songwriter. And not only was he a great songwriter and great artist, but he actually got me in the game. So that's a good one. That's a good one, Claude. Now you do this to me. Come on, man. Um, I would say for nostalgic reasons, Whitney Houston, because she was obviously iconic, and I, I never thought I would get to work with her. Spent time and learned a lot from her about being myself. She's one of the people that encouraged me to get on stage myself. She told me all the time, "Why aren't you out there singing?" So I have personal appreciation for her, and of course, as a fan of music, I have appreciation for her. When the voice tells you when to the sing, voice tells you then you sing. Voice. You listen. It's John Murray hanging out in New Orleans live at Essence, all access.